I'm Norman Bruce, and I'm one of the market managers for the Waukesha Farmers Market. And there's been a lot of speculation about the farmers market this year with the construction and how will the farmers market actually work and how and what is the true things that are happening and what is all the speculation that is happening. So I'm going to give you firsthand this is how the market is going to be set up and run and what we're looking forward to this year. The 20, 2022 farmers market will have some challenges, as you know, from the construction that is happening on St. Paul, the construction that's happening at the Madison Street Bridge. And we are ready to address those and know that the best place for us to have the market is exactly where it was located last year and should be located there this year. I know that the construction looks much larger and bigger than what it is, but I'm going to tell you by the first of market in May, May 7th, that footprint will look really different. Our market last year looked like this, but you can see that I've drawn a red line on the part right over here, and that red line indicates the area that will be fenced off for the construction that will be happening starting in, you know, in May when the market is open. Now, right now, there is considerably further along, in fact, we're probably way over in here, presently, where things are parked in. But our agreement with the bank, and the bank has been a great partner with us, does say that the construction will be moved back by the time we get to the farmer's market, the end of April, the first of May, and that this will be the area that will be affected, which means that we will need to move the vendors that are on the very end of this part of the market over into the other part and incorporate them within the market. That is easily for us to do. The second thing is that the location is going to be right where it has been, Waukesha State Bank's employee parking lot. Now the construction impact is, as I've showed you here, there's also the construction impact of St. Paul. But the construction on St. Paul is to be moving along into the fashion that by the time we get into June, the main part of the construction as far as one-way traffic and always this area here is maintained as being open so public can get in here and the parking can get in here. The things that will be affected is the area right over here where there's a parking coming in, but that's the Madison Street Bridge work. Now the Madison Street Bridge work has already started the 11th of April. It is to take 30 days of construction, or if you put that by weeks, it is six weeks of construction, six times five is 30. So this construction should be done, but it will continue to have the pathways up here at the intersection where you can cross from over by the Waukesha State Bank, and then down by the other end of the bridge, this area also will be able to be crossed. In fact, it'll actually be safer for our people because there won't be any lights to have to go through because the bridge is closed. So we're able to use that. You will be able to do a pedestrian walk that comes down along the river, the river walk, and then you'll be crossing right where the Steve Crandall Bridge and coming into the middle of the market. So the only thing that'll be affected is this entrance up here in this end because you won't be able to walk over on the Madison Strait Bridge. So this is, is the major part of the things that will need to change. Now, it is also speculated about all the other kind of things that will affect parking. Well, this lot, the clock tower lot, will be available for parking. You will still have some parking that will be able to occur over here, and that has been for our elderly or handicapped parking spaces in the first place. And so unless there is construction that happens up on St. Paul that closes it, but that is to be maintained, and it is the weekend, so we should not have those construction impact happening. Where will you park? You will park over here at the clock tower lot, you will park on the other side of the Waukesha State Bank, the parking area that is east of the bank and that, you, that you've been parking in the past. 
You also have parking that is at the transit center. So those areas will be all part of the transit. Now, there is one other thing that will affect the market, and that will be as the new building, which is called the 321 Bank Street project, and you can see that their plans are saying that this area, which is the green space where the old Salvation Army Goodwill store used to be, that space will go under construction this May, starting sometime in May or June. We have an agreement with the developer, though, that the area, these two buildings are not being built this year. And so we will continue to be able to use this area for parking for the farmer's market, also for Friday Night Live. That parking will be available. There is also the parking that will be on the riverfront plaza area over here, where it's on the other side of the river. All those spaces will be available to us to be able to use. The only other thing that changes here is that late in September, when the farmer's market isn't quite as busy, these other areas of the market will actually be pretty well completed and the Bank Street Bridge will be open again. Is that they're going to resurface this lot over here on the clock tower lot. The clock tower lot resurfacing will happen sometime in the late part of September. It will take about five days to do the resurfacing, what the city has told us, and there also has some sewer work that they're going to do in this area. But at that point in time, the market isn't quite as busy as it is during the summer. So we don't believe that's going to have the same kind of impact. Pedestrian traffic will still walk alongside Waukesha State Bank. And, but it will be even safer because you won't have any other place to go, there won't be the crossing that happens there. So we're looking for a great season for the Waukesha Farmers Market, even though there's been a lot of speculation about where is the market going to be. Well, I can tell you now that the market is planned to be right where it has been for the last four years, which is our best location. Because there had been suggested that the Riverfront Plaza area should be a place for the market to go but they don't have enough space. We left that space six years ago simply because we didn't fit there any longer. And the impact of the new construction that happened on the other end here with parking for underground makes that not a possibility. So we are doing what we can. We need your help in spreading the word. So I hope that you will put this on your Facebook pages and share this explanation about what is happening at the Waukesha Farmers Market for this year. We are a large market. We have, a, we have already made our commitments. Our vendors have already been signed up. They are, yes, a little bit anxious that there's construction, but we know that the people of Waukesha do love their farmers market, and the same as what they come down for the farmers market and Friday Night Live, they're gonna be showing up this summer. So I appreciate your time watching and becoming part of the information that is true about the Waukesha Farmers Market. You're hearing it right from the person who is working with the committee to make this happen. So thank you for your time.